In this section, we will be taking a look at and hibernate. Well, let's fast forward from the days uh, around the turn of the millennium to now, and we have some big changes. We have, well, VB.net, full-blown object-oriented languages. We also have a brand new language, well, brand new back uh, about four or five years ago, but in the realm of coming from SQL Cl or, uh, ASP Classic, it's brand new. A brand new language built just for the .NET platform. Well, this opens up a whole new set of capabilities, a whole new way of working with data. It's now easier to go grab it, work with it in an object-oriented way, whereas before, all we really had was a scripted uh, language set, nothing really object-oriented. Well, when that all happened and that all went down, we transferred over to .NET. Everyone was happy. Uh, Microsoft took a swing at trying to make data access a little bit easier. I'm sure we all remember working with typed data sets. For me, I worked with them twice, and I said, ew. Uh, just not not my thing. It was a neat idea at the time, but it didn't really address uh, what uh, was needed. And then, wouldn't you know it, the cool kids came and they sort of said, hey, look what Java's doing over there. They got this cool thing called Hibernate. And then, lo and behold, nHibernate was born, and so is object relational mapping. But it goes without saying that nHibernate is not the only ORM on the block. Uh, there's lots that have come and gone over the years. Uh, most notably, uh, Franz Buma's LLBL Gen Pro. There's also Microsoft stuff. There's Link to SQL as well as the Entity Framework. And then, uh, well, my personal favorite, <clears throat> Subsonic. So, uh, you know, but on top of them all is nHibernate itself. Uh, nHibernate is the most widely used ORM in the .NET arena. A lot of people look at nHibernate and say, oh my goodness, there are so many DLLs that I've got to deal with. Uh, must be bloated. Uh, I can tell you that nHibernate has a lot of DLLs to avoid such a thing. Uh, it is plug and play. It is modular. It uses things that other people have been building on. It is truly open source. Uh, don't let the number of DLLs scare you away. That is a silly reason. Uh, it is true that it uses about seven or eight. Uh, but you know what? Those are just files. And if you let files scare you away from using a tool set, well, you certainly don't want to use anything like, uh, well, PHP or Ruby, for that matter. Uh, lots of files come with their plugins. And next up, let's talk about the other thing, which is, well, nasty XML programming. Uh, and Hibernate works on the whole idea of programming XML to map your database to your objects, otherwise known as your domain model. A lot of people don't like that, myself included. However, as uh, I'll show you in a little bit, Allende has some tricks up his sleeve uh, to kind of uh, mitigate this, well, let's call it a gag reflex. Okay, so we've done two things here to recap, just so I know where we are. And first off, um, well, as you just were mentioning to me, we uh, configured the session factory and some global settings, I suppose, right here for in hibernate. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, in the global ASAX here, we are basically telling in hibernate, this is where your configuration lives in this file. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're setting a property on the fly uh, to our machine name, uh, or excuse me, the connection string, and we're sending the connection string to our machine name. And that is because if we work in teams, it makes things easier. Uh, show me, actually, let's talk mapping for a moment. Um, yeah. How do I how do I do? Let's just say I want to do a real simple one to one mapping right now, and then tweak it later. How do I do? I have to do that all by hand because that scares me. I hate XML. Uh, there are lots of ways of doing that. Let's just go over the three common ones. The one that they usually do is just do the HBM XML by hand. NHProf, what's that? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, my no, god. I do not. No, I do not have any stuff installed on my machine. Okay, for shame, for shame. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to take a commercial break right now. Okay. And you're going to install NHProf. <laughs> this video brought to you today by NHProf. Okay. Now execute it. Interesting. Now, please don't think that this allows you to ignore the requirement. Okay, go. Okay. Great. Now it's working. But one thing. It doesn't allow you to ignore the requirement of everything is virtual. The specified NASI force has big impact on the way that it works. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. 
How do you know that something broke? But how did that Kate? go off? What do you mean? Look at that. It just what well, this just went off. It went, yep. Yeah. But yeah. how did it do that? I didn't tell it to do that. What do you mean you didn't tell it to do that? But how does it know? Did it did it get how? like a message sent to it? Did it look I mean, does your thing look in memory for this process or something? Because uh, I didn't not... I didn't tell NHProf to look at my app. Magic. Dude, you're a wizard. <laughs> Even though I'm a skeptic, and uh, you know I I don't believe in complexity, I'm fairly pragmatic, as a lot of people know. Uh, but he's promised me he's going to blow my mind. So, uh, go back here. Let's just do session dot uh, create criteria. Uh, there we go. All right, far stuff equals that. Okay, so we're going to take a look. What does create criteria do? Just it's just a way to do it is Tony type right now. It's the, how you generate dynamic queries using an Ivernate. I see. So it generates this thing called an I criteria. And look at that. Okay. This thing just went off. All right. So if I hover over this, what is it showing me? Records. Okay. Now no echo. You see the parent is null? Yeah. Now go to something that boots. Go to boots. Oh, yeah. I think oh. boots, I think, is... Okay. Good. Parent query. is hiking equipment. No way. All right, show me this query, because this has got to be null and gnarly and crazy. Or not null, but crazy. Anything else I need to do in here? Class. Oh. And this is a category. Holy mackerel. F5. Hmm. It's not going to work, you know. F five, not controller five. And, no, I did. I didn't. I think I lost my break, oh, break yeah. point here. Okay. It's not going to work. You know that, don't you? Uh, how much time until you have to go to Israel? <laughs> so, God dang! Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, Aaron, I have to say. Yeah. All right. Four points. Ugh. Okay. Okay. And I'm not even I haven't even shown you the best part yet. This is, you know, this is going to be along the lines of the whole shocking Rob post that you did when you had what 780 open connections. Uh, yeah, I remember <laughs> that. Not connections, queries. <laughs> queries. Yeah. yeah, well this is probably going to be I'm going to guess about 320. 300. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can only have one query. <laughs> Wait just a second here. There's no, we, where's the product switch? Where's the products, Oren?